couple of weeks ago I was looking at Harry Fun video 165 in which Harry came up with this visually engaging way of transitioning between different seven segment digits. Now of course he's using a, a matrix display in order to affect these morphing between the consecutive digits. He commented that he found it difficult to generalize this so that the transitions can happen between arbitrary digits. So I had a look at this code and to see if I could um, modify it and generalize his approach. So I noticed that he was using basically two types of transition between seven segments uh, symbols such as, yeah, such as these vertical bars sweeping left and right and these snake-like flows where one segment flows into the an adjacent segment. In generalizing the algorithm I also capitalized on the fact that if you look at all the seven segment numbers the vertical bars if considered in pairs you, you never see both of them off in the top pair and you never see both of them off in the bottom pair either so this um, made the figuring out the transitions a bit easier so if we limit ourselves to just the digits um, it's fairly easy to figure out which of the signature Harry transitions to use digits are now incrementing in steps of three in order to test the generality of the algorithm also um, to further test the generality of the algorithm I decide to add a few letters to the set of symbols that the algorithm has to cope with um, in total in including all the original numbers, there are 22 symbols that the algorithm now has to figure out digit morphs using just the basic signature Harry uh, segment transitions. It goes without saying that my code is considerably more complicated than Harry's original uh, source code, but I think it um, came out alright in the end.